Hello children. Today we will learn to do subtraction with borrowing till 40. Let's start with this question. There are 40 toys in a shop, out of which 25 are teddy bears. Can you tell me the number of toys left? We will use subtraction here. We will subtract the numbers written in the units place. Children, here 5 is a number greater than 0. We can solve this puzzle using borrowing. We have to borrow 1 from 4 so that our 0 will become 10. After borrowing, our 0 becomes 10 and 4 becomes 3. Now after subtracting 5 from 10, we will get 5. We will write it like this below the units place. Now we will subtract the numbers written in the tens place. We had borrowed 1 out of 4, that's why 4 becomes 3. 3 minus 2 becomes 1. Write it here under the tens place like this. 40 minus 25 is equal to 15. There are 15 toys left in the shop. Let's solve one more question. Gaffy has to go to her room. She has to walk 37 steps to get into the room. Gaffy stops after walking 18 steps. How many more steps will Gaffy have to walk to get into her room? We can easily find the answer using subtraction. To solve this question, we can write it in the vertical form of subtraction. We will first subtract the numbers written in the units place. That is, subtract 8 from 7. But 7 is a smaller number than 8. Children, can you tell me how can we solve this? Absolutely right. We will use borrowing here. After borrowing, 7 will become 17 and 3 will become 2. Now, if we subtract 8 from 17, we get 9. We write it here in the units place like this. Let us now subtract the numbers in the tens place. 2 minus 1 becomes 1. Write this below the tens place. Gaffy would have to walk 19 more steps to get into the room. Children, now it's your turn to solve this question. There are 24 balloons in a basket. Gaffy inflated 15 balloons. How many balloons does Sunny have to inflate now? Find the solution to this question and share the answer with your friends and family. Children, in this video, we learned to do subtraction by borrowing till 40.